Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a politician, I'm a commissioner, another type of commissioner. I'm a member of European Commission, so I can only welcome the excellent job done by the Global Ocean Commission and its commitment towards ocean health. I would like to underline, though, that uh, what is very important is that this report comes at the peak of a season of awakening. We can see now governments, more and more governments, that are very willing to take uh, serious decisions in order to solve serious problems. So this is a change now. And also we can see media and the international community, they are gaining the necessary awareness and they are getting seriously engaged. And we can see some results. I would like to underline that we had already results. Perhaps you know that the European Union, we have a new fisheries policy, totally new a policy for sustainability. Also, we have uh, phased out subsidies already. And now we can see also what we are going to do about a better exploitation of our oceans, but in a sustainable way. And uh, we have attended, a lot of us, uh, the conference, our oceans conference, by Senator Kerry, by State Secretary Kerry. So you can see that results are already there. What I would like to say is that now there is a powerful, very powerful international momentum. So the report is very, very timely. The timing is perfect. But now we have more decisions ahead of us. And I think that now we have to decide what we are going to do to prepare the upcoming negotiations that might take place here at United Nations next year. And those negotiations that have to do with the way we exploit the high seas and the genetic material in the sea will show if we are really capable of introducing and further enhancing and modern and fair governance or if we are still driven by indolence and greed. It's up to us to decide. So I would like to say that uh, these decisions, very, very important, will determine our future, the ocean's future. And in this process, I can only promise that European Union will continue to show leadership to achieve a very good outcome. Ladies and gentlemen, for me, the this report is very important for two reasons. First, because this report set an agenda, a reliable and realistic agenda, ambitious but realistic. And it also opens the door to concrete discussions and results, discussions that are going to be based on facts, data, science, and not only our ideas. So this is really a challenge and we can follow it. So we are here to spread the good message. As Jose Maria already announced, next week in Brussels, in European headquarters, we are going to host together the Global Ocean Commission, European Commission and Global Ocean Commission, an event to spread the good message and also to expand on our policies to find the merit of each recommendation and see how we can go on. I think that this will be a great opportunity to go on deeper to these important issues. But it's up to all of us to do it. It can be done if we act all together. And uh, let me say a few words closing up. I'm coming from Greece. Uh, I'm uh, coming from a small island, Crete, in the Mediterranean. And uh, perhaps you know that we, in Greece we had a very important philosopher, Plato. So Plato said, uh, has written actually, uh, there are three kinds of men. As we can understand, women were not very present at that moment. So he said, there are three kinds of men. Men who are alive, men who are dead, and uh, men who are going to see. So let's go to see.